Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a not so much October book haul, but more of a collective book haul because it's been a month or so since I've done a book haul and I've collected a few books since then. And coincidentally, I had all of them at university with me, so this worked out very well. Sorry, I'm sick. It's that time of the year, I guess. But yeah, I'm so excited about all of these books. Like, I don't even know which one I could pick first, so let's just jump right in. The first two that I want to talk about are Twisted Perfection by Abby Glines and Until Friday Night by Abby Glines. This is her newest release. You're going to notice there's quite a few Abby Glines in this haul. This one I read last year. September, I believe, actually. I think I was a freshman. And I didn't like it, but I've recently read the first four books in the Rosemary Beach series, and this is the companion to that, so it's the fifth book in that series. So now that I know the characters, I think I'll enjoy this story better, so I want to give this another chance. And then Until Friday Night was just her newest release, so I had to pick it up. I'm not sure what it's about. Probably something related to football. And yeah, I just really want to read this. Then I have The Dead Girls of Hysteria Hall by Katie Ellender. This is one that I probably want to read in October because it seems very creepy. But this one is about a girl that lives, I'm assuming like in a dorm room boarding school. But it used to be an asylum for girls. And it was nicknamed Hysteria Hall. And now the ghosts and stuff are wandering about and I think it's gonna be very creepy and I've read her Bad Girls Don't Die book. I never finished the series but I did enjoy that one so I can't wait to get into this. Then I have Another Day by David Levithan. This is a companion sequel to Every Day by David Levithan which is one of my favorite books. He is one of my favorite authors. Um, it has been a couple of years since I read Every Day so I did want to reread it but I still might, I'm not sure. I kind of remember the basics, but I don't remember completely. So I might start it and see if I can follow along, and then if not, I'll just reread every day. This one I wasn't going to pick up, but I got Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Moss. I've only ever read like 100 pages of Throne of Glass, and that was years ago. So I saw this at Chapters, and it was a signed copy, so I mean, I had to pick it up because I know I'm going to read this series eventually. Then these next few are just some books for my friends because my birthday was this month, and Carrie sent me The Fixer by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. As I'm sure you know, The Naturals is one of my favorite series, and this is her newest book, so I can't wait to read this. I think this is going to be a series, maybe, probably. I think I'm going to read this over Thanksgiving because I know I'm just going to want to sit and read it straight through. And then my friend Geraldine, both of these girls will be linked down below. I'm sure you both know them. They're fantastic and I love them both. She sent me Simple Perfection by Abby Glines and Breathe by Abby Glines. So this is a first book in a different series. I'm not sure what it's called. Sea Breeze series. And then this is the second book to Twisted Perfection, the sixth book in that series. Okay, so sorry if the setup and the lighting is different. Um, my friend was at my door and then I had class and my battery died, so we're going to do this again. But I was talking about Simple Perfection and Breathe by Abby Glines. Anyway, this is the sixth book in that series and then this is the first one in her Sea Breeze series. I'm obsessed with Abby Glines lately. They're just such quick and easy reads for me. So thank you Geraldine and also thank you Carrie for The Fixer. As you both know, I love you both, and I'm very excited for these. And then the last two books that I want to talk about are recent that I got. The first one was a pre-order, and that is You First, Journal Your Way to Your Best Life by Leah Michelle. This book is so pretty. So I only got it today in the mail, but I flipped through it so there are some parts you can write in, and then there's like you can read so it just looks really good and really interesting and I love Leah Michelle so can't wait to read this slash use it and then a book you're all gonna be so tired of me talking about what we saw by Erin Hartzler I also just got this it was in the same package and I talked about this in my most anticipated reads of fall 2015 which I will link down below and yeah this is like realistic fiction about rape maybe sexual assault and that kind of stuff 
So this is probably going to be my next read. So yeah, that is it for my collective book haul. Thank you guys for watching. If you've read any of the books that I talked about, make sure you let me know down below or some of the books that you're excited for in October. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.